What's up guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be going over some art supplies that I picked up from Five Below. There are two items that I found that I can't believe were at the store so I'm really excited to open those and see how they test. So let's go ahead and show you what I picked up. All right so first up is their mixed media pad. It comes with drawing, mixed media, and tracing paper. Uh, just like a standard little doodle book and it is separated by these little plastic folders. So Went and had to pick that up, obviously, for five bucks. Next up are these artist pins. Um, it comes with five liners and one brush tip. If these end up working out, this is going to be a great price for someone that is definitely on a budget but looking to get some fine liners. So hopefully those test out pretty well. So next I picked up these alcohol markers. It doesn't specifically say alcohol markers, but I believe that that is the intent behind these. The only thing I'm worried about is the actual color matching what it says with a lot of these cheaper markers. That seems to be a really big miss. So if these actually match, that's gonna be a great price. Next up, I have these pastels. You get 48 of them for five bucks. Um, I just wanted to kind of test these out because I have not played with oil pastels since like middle school. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of like a fun little down memory road to see um, how these work out and see if they are any good for the price. So the first of the two items that I was excited to find and try are these 12 gouache paints. I cannot believe that they have gouache paint there. Just to give you a little preview, here are some of the colors that are in this palette. I have not ever done anything with gouache, so this will be my first kind of little introduction to this, but very excited to try these out. And last on this little shopping spree is this LED tracing pad. I thought this was really cool because obviously it was five bucks and it is powered by a USB. I've noticed that a lot of times like these cheaper things from Five Below um, are battery operated. So I thought that that was a really big plus. I'm really hoping that this works. So let's go ahead and get into the first item. I'm going to go ahead and unpack these six count artist pens. So we have a 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.8, 1.0, and that brush marker. So let's go ahead and get these out of here. All right, so let's kind of go in order here. Kind of show you this. That is tiny. Look how tiny that is. What? Oh man, that is going to be so awesome for doing details. Here is the second one. This is the 0.4. Oh man, I don't, these, I don't know. I'm kind of impressed. These are pretty smooth. Now, I am going to do a bleed test to see how these do, so just hold on just a second. This is going to be the one point. Look at th this nib is looking a little... I feel like we started so strong. Do you see, like... I feel like it's, like, stuck in there. This is the brush pen. We're going to see how this one stands. I'm gonna let these dry for a second. I am going to grab one of these alcohol markers and see how the bleed test does. Maybe we'll do like a lighter color and a darker color. We'll do like two different types of blues. So I'm just gonna use the chisel end of this marker. Okay, I fully expected this to bleed. No way. I wonder if I like go really hard. Okay, I feel like for four bucks, I think they were $4.25. This pack is definitely a win. I feel like this is a really great price. Next up is going to be these 12 count neutral markers. Again, it doesn't say that they're alcohol, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what they're definitely supposed to be marked off of. Um, so it looks like we have a bullet nib and a chisel nib. So let's see. So here are the different tones that are in here. I feel like this is a pretty decent selection. So if all of these end up actually matching the color that they say, I think that'll be a great little addition. Let's go ahead and see how these, these hold up. 
first up, we're going to be using this one. It says that it is a cool gray. It does have a little CG, CG4 um, color code on there. Let's take a look at the first one. Here is the bullet nib on that side. I mean, it looks pretty decent. Got cool gray. Definitely not the color that is advertised on the marker. Go ahead and try this chisel. Holy <laughs> This is a thick chisel. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. That is super thick. Go over this. I kind of want to like see how it dries. If it leaves any like lines or streaks or anything like that. That is a crazy thick nib. Okay, so all in all, I would say these don't really match what they're claiming to be. However, I do think that for $5, I do like the different grays that they offer. I would say overall, this is like a good little set for five bucks of some neutral colors. Let's go ahead and get into these oil pastels. I'm pretty excited to try these out. I have an idea in my head that I want to use these for. Um, and I'm thinking like a little Picasso drawing would be really cool. Let me get my knife so I can open this. Um, but I'm thinking that that'll be really cool to try and like try these out and see how they do. Let's kind of take a peek at these colors real quick. I don't know why, but I'm like really drawn to this yellow right here. Get a little bit of bleed through from the markers from earlier, but they're so smooth. I feel like these are pretty good. What? Hold on, I gotta get another color. Go oh, like this blue. I'll do like a weird kind of eye thing. I really have to like sketch out what I'm gonna do. If not, I feel like it, it's just so bad. Let's do like a really weird obscure mouth. I forgot how cool these feel. I have no idea what I'm drawing by the way. Um, <laughs> ooh, let me go get some tissue paper. I wanna see how this blends out. I'll be right back. So I want to try to put some of this on here and then Take some of this paper towel and see how this will blend out. Look how that blended. It looks like airbrushed. I definitely think that this is a win. Like I said, I'm no pastel artist. I definitely have an idea I want to do with these in the future, but I think these are sick. All right, guys, next up is the gouache paint. I am so excited to try these. Again, I have never used gouache. I have heard it described as if acrylic paint and watercolors had a baby, but I'm excited. So it looks like they're each in their little containers here. It's got a little plastic lid that you can put back on. Pretty cool. It looks like they all also are going to, oh, f oh, it's like separating. Oh no, it ripped. Oh, I feel like I'm making a mess. Okay. Well, that is kind of off. Oh God, I'm getting this everywhere. Let me wipe my fingers off. We're already making a big mess. I think this container is really cute and I like that they have these little lids that you can snap back on there. Let's go ahead and open all the rest of these things up. <sighs> that took so long. I mean, look at my hands. I feel like that was so unnecessarily hard. Like who put those little tin foils on there? I got to wash my hands and then we'll come back and finally test these out. Okay. We are back. Whew. So, uh, first I want to try these out on this mixed media pad, uh, that we got from five below. And then I do have some watercolor paper, um, that we'll try it out on that too. So let's go with purple. Wait, I need to get my palette. <laughs> so let's test this. Okay, 
This is pretty thin. I feel like it's already almost dry. Let's get a palette knife and let's put some in here and see how it kind of blends out with some water. Let's grab some of this purple. Not that much. And then we are gonna take some of this water, add a little bit to this. Okay, and that's where we're gonna get that more watercolor. Let's test this. I feel like it looks the same. Okay, let's try a little bit more water. Can we get rid of that line? Okay, so that line blended out. Okay, that's kind of, okay. I was losing faith in this a little bit that they were just really, really cheap, but that was a little bit of redemption. Okay, let's try another color real quick. I'm really drawn to this blue. Let's put this blue up here. I'm like not grabbing enough for no reason. Oof, okay. I feel like this is the first thing that I'm trying that like feels cheap. Now, obviously I know we're working with Five Below, but I feel like everything else has been like pretty decent. Now these get better the more that you add water to them. So, I mean, they do, you know, thin out in color. You can kind of get rid of these lines. So let's grab some watercolor paper and see how these do. This is the watercolor paper I'm gonna be using. Nothing super fancy, so. Just switch this out real quick. Now I did buy, I, I've always used like really cheap multi-packs of brushes. So I do have this cheap brush, but I did also buy what Michaels considers like a pro brush just to see like if that would have any difference, but we'll see if that actually like makes a big difference. Let's go back in some of this purple. The paper is definitely making a difference. I mean, it's still not the greatest quality, but I definitely think the paper is making a big difference. I'm just going to go straight in with water from the little jar right here and see. Yeah, see that line thins out. That's pretty nice. Little bit of redemption. I gotta try this peach. This peach looks really interesting. I don't know why, but I'm really digging this color. And we'll go ahead and we'll switch to this Aqua Elite Princeton brush. I feel like normally, like, I don't really care that much about like peach colors, but I kind of like this color. Let's grab some water. Let's see. This is so fun. This is definitely making me want to do a gouache drawing. I know that I would be terrible, but this is really fun. Let's try the better brush quality with this purple. All right, so we're gonna go in pretty diluted here. I feel like that did go on a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these colors. All right, so here are all of the colors swatched out with a little bit of watercolor at the end. I think that if you are a young artist, this is a great set, um, especially for five bucks. Again, it's not the greatest quality by any means, but I definitely think that all of this stuff is good. So let's go ahead and get into this uh, tracing pad. I am so excited. I freaking hope this works. Before I move away from the gouache paint, it looks like you could use this to put the paint in and kind of thin out. So I didn't even notice that in this little lid. So I think also having that feature makes this a great little set. All right, the moment of truth. We have this USB powered LED tracing pad. This knife is so dirty from opening all those paints. So obviously we have our little power cord right here. Oh my God, this thing is so tiny. Let's go ahead and plug this little bad boy in. Okay. Let me turn off some of these other lights. So what I want to do is I just printed off this design um, and I want to try just regular printer paper. And then I want to go ahead and try some of this mixed media paper from the Five Below sketchbooks. All right, so this is the regular printer paper. So I'm going to go in with the 1.0 liner that we got that we used earlier. 
We're just going to start off. Now, obviously, I wish that this was bigger. I don't know what they mean by like standard size being 5.8. This is so cool for five bucks. So obviously the big uh, deal breaker here with this light is going to be if the thicker mixed media paper is able to be seen. And honestly, given how this light is working, I don't see this being an issue. I think that this light is gonna do a really good job. And we're gonna put the mixed media on top. Oh my gosh, that is working so well. I wish it was bigger, but I think, I mean, five bucks, this is awesome. All right guys, that is going to wrap up the Five Below Art Supplies haul. I think for 30 bucks, that's just a really great deal. And if you are not within distance of a Five Below, you can pick up these items online and the shipping is only going to be $5. Let me know down below, what was your favorite item? I am definitely gonna say my favorite was this LED tracing pad. I just think for the price that you cannot beat it. And I think it's so cool that this is even an option. So thank you guys for checking in and happy drawing.